Humans and orcas are uniquely connected. Orcas, our shared future, weaves together three ways of knowing that are often thought of as separate, science, popular culture, and indigenous thought. In our tour today, we're going to see highlights of this exhibit and meet staff of the Royal BC Museum who contributed. Some of the panels in this area will tell you about orca biology around the world. Different types of orcas have different behaviors, different hunting styles, different language even different anatomy. If you look at an orca from Antarctica versus one from here in British Columbia, they can look radically different, which does beg the question, is it one species or are we actually dealing with a complex of species that have yet to be recognized? Amongst all of the coastal and some of the inland tribes along BC, the orca is very much considered our family. They're creatures that we live alongside, all of our nations are ocean-going peoples. We traveled the waterways of this coast and, and inland by way of dugout and other forms of canoe travel. And along those journeys, we would always encounter the orca. And, and I think it's really important for everyone who comes to see the exhibit to just experience for a moment how special that is, that this incredible, huge creature, we think, regards us as family too, which is why they're so gentle with us. It's looking at orcas entering our own popular culture, and it's a very dramatic story. The capture of orcas begins here where we are today, uh, but it spreads out all around the world, to Europe, to France, Spain, Japan, all over the United States, to aquariums everywhere. So this is a place of origin stories in a different way to do with popular culture. Thank you.